live for you then uh, to uh, Marikana. I do understand that Amku President uh, Joseph Matundra is now currently addressing the crowd. Named. And we cannot achieve that unless we change the system. The worst foreign direct investors or investment in Africa, they are putting more money. That money is to loot the mineral that's supposed to benefit us as South African. They've got no regards of social upliftment of the communities. South African government is spending billions of social grants yes. just to put the people of South Africa in the dark, just to confine people to, their, to be their slaves, to vote them to power, to create a state that is dependent on politicians. Instead of coming with a program Instead of coming with a, program, a social program that will uplift the South Africans, we can have all investment in the world, but without radical revolution of values, we are going nowhere. In South Africa, we had the first democratic president May his soul rest in peace. We had the, the first democratic president who was Nelson Babutal Holishata Madiba Mandela, who was the president who was jailed for 27 years. I just want to count all kinds of president that we had in this country. The second president was the president Tabombegi, who was regarded as a learned president. The third president we had was Babu Jacob Jacob Zuma, who was regarded as not educated as myself. The fourth president we had, we had a president that is as a multi-billionaire. But all this president hasn't changed the life of a black child in South Africa. We need a president that has a compassion. And such president can be appointed by God. The God that will touch the minds and the souls of the South Africans. And to open their eyes and their conscience to, to be able to elect the, the president that will have compassion. The president, when the woman is raped, he's not gonna sleep in his house. He will go and find out what has happened. I have been criticized for taking a stand for the living wage. I've been vilified by those who have called themselves scholars. I've been criticized by those who have called themselves philosophers for taking a stand for the living wage, to fight for the living wage for the downtrodden. And uh, I'm not disappointed about that. We can have civil rights. We can have that you can go and vote. But what is the right, what is a civil right without the economic rights? When I read the book of Exodus, chapter 12, hallelujah. When I read the book of Exodus, chapter 12, it talks about Egypt. It talks about the children of Israelites. It talks about Moses. When Moses speaks to the Israelites, he said, now is the time to leave. And they went to Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh, we are going to the promised land, but we are not gonna leave Egypt without gold, without silver, without food, without clothes. The question is, when the NC leave the apartheid government, Nationalist Party, what did they take? What did they take with them? Did they take gold? Did they take silver? Or did they just take a political position? Did you hear what I've just said? Let me repeat myself. In the book of Exodus,
Exodus, there was this man called Moses. He told Pharaoh that we are leaving. We are going to the land of promise. But we are not going to leave Egypt without gold, silver, clothes, and food. The question is, when the politician leave the apartheid regime, ushering to 1994 for the promised land, what did they have in their hands? They only had what? Political position without nothing in their hands. <laughs> That's why the mines are still owned by Neil Froneman. That's why the mines are still owned by Anglo-American. That's why the mines are still owned by TPS. That's why the mines are still owned by Glencoe. Because when we leave apartheid, we took nothing. We, in our head was just political power and political position. And now the question is, how are we going to survive when we left the world behind to the white hands? The genesis of the social illnesses of South Africa derived from the mineral energy complex we are in this state house of life. We are in this state house of social discourse. It's just because of mineral energy complex. Since from 1800, when they discovered, because always the West and the European, when they come to Africa, they discover. Did you hear what I just said? They always discover as if there was no people living in this country, as if there was no one living in this continent. Always when they come, we discovered gold. We discovered diamond. Come on. We, div we discovered black people. I'm not discovered. I'm not discovered. They discovered their puppets who are their presidents. They've never discovered me. I'm not chained. I'm not allowed. I'm not going to allow any race to be dominant on top of a black people. Wherever I'm leading as the uncle president, my constituency, I will make sure we undermine. We undermine. We undermine the white power in our hands. I owe nobody apology. I'm not fed by them. I don't owe them anything. They owe us Africans. They owe us our wealth. They owe us our land. They've been to power. They are politicians in the parliament. More than what? But they cannot return land to the rightful owners. I think that parliament must be disbanded. They must come back here. Let's get a new leaders that will go and take what belongs to us and bring back to us. The time of promises is over. Mineral energy complex, as I've said earlier on, is a genesis of all social ills in South Africa. Disposition of land has caused by mineral energy complex. Taxations that were, were, were structured for black people was caused by the very same mineral energy complex to make or to use black people to be the cannon folder for these mines. It is the nature of the mineral energy complex to kill. As I read in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief is only intentional.
mission is to steal, destroy, and kill as they did here in Maracana in this day. I don't understand. Even the learned, the graduate, the professors, they still saying to the thieves are investors. Foreign direct investment, foreign direct thieves. Did you hear that one? There is nothing called foreign direct investors or investment. It's foreign direct thieves. And what is humbling us, or what can I say, what pride us? This commemoration from 2013 were never sponsored by white monopoly capital. We kept this commemoration by ourselves as anchor. To show them that Tina Bandus has in the Lindo Zetu. They are talking about Maricana renewal. Neil Froderman has bought some clergy people instead of going and preach and convert sinners and convert rapists. But they were lobbied by Neil Froderman to come and walk around here, whether it was for atonement or for whatsoever, I don't know. But I'm still saying, if Neil Froneman is talking about the renewal, I don't know which renewal, whether I still want another massacre, because the 2018 and 2019, the second massacre that he was planning at the gold center at Sibanye failed. If there is a renewal, 
in a true sense, in a correct context. Abo mama ba kotu ke ba makaya. Aba patala until pensionable age. Then this is a mona kutu ne nyani. The same Neil Froneman, who's claiming for a renewal for the Marikana, when he acquired loan mean, the first employees that he, he targeted was the very same women who were in the list of retrenchment. The question is, if he has retrenched them, which renewal he will be talking about today? He's got a silver tongue. He's a hypocrite. If Amko was not here, Amko yaingako apa. Ngaba abo mama beko na mtanje apa. I thank the members of Amko for your steadfastness, being a loyal member of Amco. Even though we are facing many challenges, the government unleashing is right upon us to deregister Amco, but you steadfast. Even the Zondo Commission confirmed that the state had some resources to form WOW to destabilize AMCO using some of our members within the organization, but they failed because of your steadfastness. Amanda! Comrade, we talk about unemployment in South Africa. This unemployment is self-inflicted. As long, as long, we don't change the trade agreement of this country, we are still going to experience more discourse. 2017, we marched to union building, and we hand over the memorandum. One of the demand was saying, the export material of South Africa should be 60-40. 60 for export and 40 to remain inland to encourage industrialization and beneficiation. They haven't answered that question. Amco spoke about education. When was not fashionable to talk about education? Yes, there was a fees must fall, which was correct. But Amco was not talking about fees must fall. Because when you are saying fees must fall, we are saying continue with this poisonous education curriculum, but don't make us pay for it. Amco was saying change the curriculum. You see, there is different. We were fighting to change the curriculum. In my statement in 2015, I said to the Minister of Education, close all the universities until each university can produce a graduate, an engineer that can make cells for batteries, that can benefit this platinum. Because these universities are useless, are useless. They want just to perpetuate the agenda of the colonial. If this education is not useless, why do you have so many graduates sitting at home? This education is not responsive to the global demands in terms of skills. The only education that they give in the university if you are a mine engineer, they are teaching you how to extract minerals. In this university, they don't teach you how to beneficiate the minerals. But when you go to Europe, you'll find their university are teaching their students how to beneficiate the minerals from Africa. Food. Love them. 
or hate them, the Afrikaners. Love them or hate them, the Africaners. But they gave us the country that was functional. A functional state. In as much as the Nationalist Party was cruel to humanity, but they left us with a functioning state. Where is the railway today? Where is the SAA today? Where is the healthcare system today? Even though during the apartheid, there was a board that says whites only and blacks only, but whenever you enter that door, which is written black, you'll get a service, you'll get, I mean to say, you'll get all the medication that you want. Today, there's no white or black, but there is no service. Because when they left Egypt, which was a nationalist party government, they took no gold, they took no silver, they only took the political position in their hands without anything that they can give to the nation. Constitution of this country, where everyone was still sleeping in the parliament, where people they see no reason to amend the constitution of this country. Joseph Matunja stood up and spoke about this this constitution. The elephant in the room is the constitution of the country called South Africa, the best constitution in the world. But poor are poor people are poor as a mouse church. Mandla. Until such time, we tear this constitution and write our own constitution that will embrace our culture, that will embrace our norms, that will embrace our values. Because this constitution has changed us to be like zombies. Until such time, we tear down this constitution. This constitution is enslaving us. This constitution is making the same colonizers to have power to the people who are the majority of the country. For the next generation. Always when you talk, the constitution says this. The constitution. constitution say constitution say constitution say constitution for retirement at the workplace at the age of 63. We are retrenched or we are pensioned. Why a parliament in Nabantabana for 80 years, 85 years, but they are employed by us? We are their employers. We should put a threshold to say once you are above 65, you are pensionable. Go home and play with your grandchildren. 
Amanza! Amanza! Ina msebenzi kina! Maibuye Afrika, maibuye! Maibuye Afrika, maibuye! Maibuye Afrika, maibuye! I see the DA is spending much energy on the former state president, Babu Jacob Zuma. Eight years old man, a revolutionarist. Yes, he had his own mistakes in life, like anyone, like me, like you. But I have never seen a nationalist party minister who's alive today with all the atrocities against the black people being pushed to the jail at this age. Why Jacob Zuma? We need to go and ask that question. Sizo ingena lenda haba nati. Singa yako kupoliti. Sizo ingena lenda haba. Amasala. Amatras tini imatras yam. Umatras wami. Umatras wami unamatrati. Uzu yandi saba. Kona manda matras wabo unes dola. There is nothing wrong about that. Huh? Abanda bang and ama credentials in the struggle of our country. He lava ba chuchi swayo. Sisazo buza nati. Not because he tuba zuma genzanga ma puta in life, but he, because he's black. And not because he's black, but because he contributed to the struggle. We are not saying he must not face what he's supposed to face, but not in the way that they are doing. They are too personal now. It's too political. Comrade, let me say this in closing. Oh, not in closing. I still got this one. I haven't opened this one. Comrade, we as South African, we as South African, as long as we see evil through the racial lens, we are far from, from liberating ourselves. Tina, abom sinzi oz milela ape Africa. Tina, my South Africans. Uma, sisabona, ububi. Ngogwe bala. Sisese gute, nguti sizikulule. Ngoba, uma ngabe i apartheid. Njongobi apartheid, ya bula la bandu e shafil. Kwa sumi South Africa yonke. Kuteni magbula wabantu emarikani South Africa nga pagami yonke. And the, 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 the reason is simple. Because we only see evil when it's committed by white person. By white government. But when the evil is committed by black government, we see no reason to uprise. Comrade. It was this day when I was kneeling somewhere right there at the back. I was wearing the same jacket. Gwawulo sulwa na mshanje. Nyikuka pansi kwa li nyili iche paya. Lapo nga nyikuka kona pansi. Nga nyikoka yona le jacket ya nyikoka ili mshanga 16. Wala August 2012. Nani Fagelo and Alep Ruben Il Koril and Amsange? No, 2012. I was wearing the same jacket in 2012 August. I'm shocked there is no sound now. I'm a tenant in a Peloma Petre. It's Dante. 
Ndani kutapaya. Uma ndi suga paya. Ndi tola umbo umbo. Ati ena ukibile is a day to day. Epete enyi nde kanya ayo nibiza ngukutuwa ni torch pera. Ya ihanjiswa yonki ndao. Ndeza ndafika nda tolo munyu na idu batu komishina na idu. Na jaibo asiku zen lento. Lapo bebanga safunu mdo julela ayo ndati nige zeni tuba ndi oteta. Na basebe nzi. Nda tola. Omunye we chenalisti ya ENC ego tuwa ukoli mkambi. Ngati koli mkambi wabuza wati kwa nzagala ani mangameli. Ngati skribo stati iwe. Lo khulu mente nolon minu zo babu lala laba sebenzi. Hey, kwa kwenye na security tuze kwa mtu paya. Ipo isa ila lkona la linde lungu zo babu lala bantu bagubo. Kwa tiyo usa zuleli paya mtaka matunja ngati ndia zula ndia paya ndio teta na abo. Wabuzu mkoli ukambi wati pofu magu njena kwenza galani ngati umpefu mlo wabo sose zanje nizgati ito. I say kinten za uyenza iskribo se stati iwe lo khulumende is gonna kill these workers. I can see clearly. Ditemba ndi figa paya Ndi tola o kolani, ndi tola o comrade naju, o comrade bule, ndi saba kumbula, o comrade pele, nabanya, nabanya, seba zula, emshabeni. Nda file nda kukakbona. Nga chongati, toza guti, kukichiwe ngani, sukani kule ndaba, lama tuatazo nbulala. The life of the black man in Africa is cheap. They will kill you and replace you. You are just a number. Let's leave this mountain. Umandi Teta. Lashin Jizulu. Sakumbul. Tolan. Kwa kupuwa ili feli mnyama la kupuwa la cholati. Wokona. Ngati ndo za uti bugani siya shinji moya pezulu. Siya shinji sparapara. Ni uzo lomoyo za uti kwa nzela ndoni. Ni albona lela nifu li teta hii ndo. Asi sugeni hapa sambeni ndo za uti. Na sumi nsiswa zati. Oma mbushi bati mtaka matunja president. Kotuga. Singeke sawashasela mapoisa. We will never attack the police. We will stay here. We will wait for our employer to tell us when are we going to receive our 12,500. Naipa <laughs> No one will tell the truth. Ndi tema ndi chigela kile ndaba. Ay. Solo unda zalo ngazi ndi zboni zbami zgalo nshobo. Dati ndi azula kwa tuwa wow stop. Pindele move. Chin betuna. E zazi ndo ngati zazi tenyinte ngayazi. Zazi ngati zpitene makanda. Ndi sacho na manje, ukube, mandi fonela ilon min. One of the management kubi foni yaba engaged. Kwa nga bikonu mundo itatayo, na mi nga benda balelwa apa. E yindota ya iba ambi foni yatu, ni teta ngani, bati kune ndote zbizu matunjwa apa. Singa itete la ilule na, kwa tiwa haimaku matunjwa mtetele na ilule. Kwa hapa usinda kwami, kule si hele kusa hapa. Ndi tendi ngake nki paya nabo chauke, nabo chumbo. Si ngake nki lea railway line. Kwa ngeni phone call a one, ya pinde ya trima wa yati si hafa. Zachi mbumbulu. Hii ni ndefundiwe, 
emva kwaloko yini nde fundiwe akukhona ento yote fundiwe go start another 5 month strike to fight for 12500 ngobani umbuso uphethwe izimayini let me tell you there is no political party in the parliament even our beloved African National Congress is not in control of the country. The country is controlled by mineral energy complex. Abba Pete is mine, Ibon Abba Pete is from 1800 when they discovered gold and diamond even during nationalist party in national party yang apatangi government the government yai peto i chamber of mine so that's why there will be no reparation that's why there will be no one's going to be arrested when you talk about state capture nilok nisibanga lumsindo ngegupta Nilogu nisibonga ilu msindo ngo zuma nge state capture. Nisaba belungu. Nisabu nilfrone man. We are afraid of the whites. The real captures, the foreign direct investors. Those are the real captures of South African people. When workers were massacred here, AIDC, through Comrade Brian, they've done a study of illicit financial flow. We find out what Elon mean. Yeah, he register my company overseas in a safe haven, where there is only a post box, where there is no one, where they were paying over 200 million per month. And that information we gave it to the South African government and to the parliament. What did they do with that information? Nothing. Then the question, who is captured? If we really want to know who has captured South Africa, I challenge the parliamentarian to call the commission on illicit financial flows. Don't tell me about Gupta men. Don't tell me about nine wasted years. Tell me about illicit financial flows in this country. If there are real, true revolutionaries who are in this parliament, let them establish a commission that will check this mind. Our father commission, as of Pera is in Mali, as in Chonjo, as in South Africa. Then who are the real state captures? How can you allow one man to earn 2,000 rand per minute? That is Neil Froneman. 360 million per year. Which country are we living in? Do we have politicians, real politicians, that do all of this? No, 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 no. no. In the day of the day of the day of the day of the day about 30,000 or 1,000 rand, which is less than a billion rand. Guma minerals, a country, a city, a city, We voted to be democratically colonized. You let us see what else. Uma Unil Froneman, I was a 360 million. Mount Yangele Marika and look the squalor where people are they living. More than 20,000 workers of Lon Min, they are still staying in the in informal settlement. But Salem Kukwin, we are calling to this government to cap the salaries of the COs in the mine. 
Aiki si o o efanya di kolu kuzulu president wa country. If they are really in power, if they are really in power, they must cap the salaries of the CEO. No CEO that should earn more than the state president of the country. Finish and clear. Two, if you want to address the unemployment in this country, take the license of each and every mind which is in mod polling, is mainly as if Ali were the profit. I taught you license in the years of Andaba Miyama, but full of him seven. See, three, they eat the government here to if he's in control, they shouldn't be any mind or any company who will open a shaft with their license without developing the community first. Hospital must be there, university must be there, high school must be there, primary school must be there, crashes must be there, and tar road and all the facilities, the infrastructure for that community. If they come to your area and want to open a shaft without go and build your house in that particular ground until such time they develop the community. That is how we are going to address the, this inequality in this country. Amanda! Clean seven cleaner. Africa, my boy. Amanda! Kukone nyi ndota Oktiwa ukungi wa itongo He once said The true seeker of truth Open quote The true seeker of truth Never loses hope The true seeker of real justice Never tires a farmer does not stop planting seeds just because of the failure of one crop. Success is born of trying and trying again. Truth must seek justice. Justice must seek the truth. When justice chimes, truth will reign on earth. Close quote. Comrade, si apagulentaba nam sanje. Little Piper, this is the day that the Lord has made but to rejoice. But this one is not the day that was made by the Lord. This is the day that was made by our government to come and grieve. The Marikana massacre shouldn't be commercialized as I see. Our brothers and our fathers they never came to Kopi Mountain to be killed and then to be compensated. We want justice now, not tomorrow. Stop commercializing Marikana Massacre. Many people are rich because of Marikana Massacre. Many people, they've made books. They are writing books. They are making all sorts of things but no one has contributed anything tangible to these families. Because Marikana has been commercialized. Abo mama, seba yindo ngati serkis. Bafago is moto eni, ba iso indawe eni, ba yobugu iso angabo, ngazuti, iposwel serkis. You must say no to that. Claim your dignity back. Logun Fagos Motweni, Niswa Pans Pezulu, Logun Mugiswa, Nishuti Tombe, Kukonjiswa Manjape, Giakalubonagala Abantava Shonel and Apanteguin. Banen Zeleni Bayawas Hutu Lala Gupi. If it was not Amco, Nabi, we don't have a shelter. Amco has brought dignity to you. Don't allow your grief 
to be a what? A benefit to other people. They are using you. They are using your grief. They are using your pain for their own selfish, narrow interest. Because the life of a black man in Africa is cheap. City Usmanye, this year, our demand, a basic salary, is 20,000 rand. Asidali. We have long passed 12,500. City, we have long passed 12,500. Neil Froneman cannot come and claim easy victory. The money that we are earning today was through the blood of our brothers, was through the five-month strike. If he can pay himself 360 million per year, surely he can pay you a basic salary of 20,000 rand per month. <laughs> Comrade Mambush and the comrades of Marikana 34, we have passed 12,500. Says Lulila, 12,500. Sitigue, the government led by Honorable Cyril Ramaphosa, has not come and apologized to your wife and to your wives, even today. We are saying, Comrade Mambush and the Marikana 34, or Marikana 44, we will fight to make sure that 16 of us is a working day in South Africa. We will fight for this day. We will never rest. We will picket. We will march. We will strike to make sure that 16 of August is a public day, is a workers' day for the South African working class. CT is 16 of August. Sio liluela lelilanga. Sio liluela lelilanga. Uguti libe ilanga. Laba sebenzi e South Africa. Yes, we recognize the 1st of May, but that was a M American history for their own minds workers that were killed we are in solidarity with them but now we've got our own massacre from our own uh, liberators so therefore the 16th of august must be declared as a public workers day in south africa <laughs> comrade <laughs> Uguti Masinga Tate Tina Basebenzi Bases Main. We are facing massacre year in, year out. If you look, if you check, Uma Upera, Les Main, Uti Monyaga, Imaine Otta, Ibula Lava Sebenza Bangaki, Uzobon Uti, this country, every year there is a massacre. If the Mine Health and Safety Act has power, we are saying to the Minister of Police, Honorable Babu Begi Kale, in terms of Mine Health and Safety Act, Section 72 has been issued. Neil Froneman must be arrested for the workers that were killed at Trifon Day. In 2018, section 72, 18, Amanda would be able to issue a new one. You would be able to issue a new one. You would be able to issue a new one. You would be able to issue a new one. 
lawa bula laba sebenzi lana uguti magaya gufrone mani ayo mbopa ayo gele ubabu zuma atatu frone mani obule laba sebenzi it is section 72 marabo shwe then sizo bono uguti sino hulumente o sebenza ayo oma bopa bantaba mnyama pela kota obopa na belungu This government can go and arrest Neil Froneman. I will come and apologize and say I was wrong that this government is run by mineral energy complex. I will call the media and apologize. Uma, this government can arrest Neil Froneman in terms of mine health and safety section 72. Then I will come back and apologize to say no, no better man the parliament. In terms of Mine Health and Safety Act, Section 72, Amanda Wea Kogin, Amanda No Froneman. Comrade, we still got three mine workers. We still got three members of the family who are still tra trapped at Lily Mine. Ageku President Ngampalelanga. I've written to the former state president, Bob Jacob Zuma. I've written to Msebenzi Zwane, former minister of the MRE. I have written to the current sitting uh, president, Bob Ramaphosa, to declare Lily Mine as a national disaster, to put money to retrieve that container and to bring peace and closure to the family. Even today, nothing has happened. I've written to Babu Kwete Mantashe, the current sitting mineral minister of TMRE, to ask him to use these monies, which is meant for rehabilitation of the mine, to just assist to retrieve that container, to bring closure to the uh, families. Still, nothing has happened but they are claiming they are caring government. But I'm telling you, if those workers was Mr. Kukemur and Mr. Jones and Mr. Kobas, I'm telling you, they will be long, long being retrieved underground. But because it's a life of a black person in Africa is cheap. It's just a number that is trapped. That is not a human being. Comrade, can I appeal to you? I made this appeal. We can retrieve that container ourselves as members of AMCO. Angpin the food. Abasebenz laba. Niti tina si AMCO. Singayenzi mali. See your people in a container lap. Can I see your hands, comrade? Am I Isua? Am I Isua? Am I Isua? You funa base where union building guti sing as enze la lento. Ni tizi members the arm ko inga sula le a container go ilanda na. Ni tizi enze njani ke comrades. Chinese man is same so you funa le container. General Secretary, write to Babu Kwate Mantashe to give us a permission to go and get that container. Since our land of forward to, we don't need a white monopoly capital. We'll do it ourselves as black because we want to bring dignity to us. Mantashe, container. We are going there. See, all these scavengers, these hyenas, as is to step by to set aside. And always when I refer to whites, not that I'm referring just to white in general, for those that have got this capitalist DNA, that they've got no regard to other lives of other people.
Comrade GS, you know that we are going to get that container. We must come back next year and report that the container is out. That's what we have to come and report. To show who this is all Zenzela. Sing a band to say Africa. This is Zenzela Tina. But we must try to who Zenzela. Lea mine. My own way of a salibaselili mine. Let them take full control of that mine. That valley and that mine must be owned by the people of Lily Mine. Comrade, AMCO is fighting for a living wage. The government is coming with a minimum wage. What a contradiction. We will fight for the living wage. We are not going to rest. In conclusion, Comrade Ekribelen, for this massacre to still to be in the minds of the people is due to the steadfastness of AMCO commemorating it. It could have been long forgotten otherwise. City, Comrade, how can we rape? In this country, we need a shirai. A shirai what is it? What is it? Sharai law. Eh? We want a Sharai law in this country. Once you rape, we cut your penis. Once you steal, we cut your hand. You just, you just cut few of the penis. You see, the issue of rape will be forgotten. There will be no rape anymore. And uh, to do this, South Africa. your own party and put your own president and put your own laws eh, to deal with this rape. The country I think in Denning, if you're not just a president with a compassion, and you're going to be a good person, you're going to be a good person, you're going to be I think many people they have ever stayed where they are. It's time we South African to wake up. The country is rich. Kulunkul has blessed us with weather. This thing of privatizing the SOEs. SOEs, low-tier state-owned enterprises, are the low-hanging fruit for job creation and for employment. The Nationalist Party, the government, the Nationalist Party, they quasi to put the struggle and the revolution at bay because of Bantu Beba Sebenza. Because Begna Mapoisa Namchanchi, Angiti, Begna Relwe, Angiti. Beguna begna ma pasa nam chanja ngiti zonke lezo zinto bezenza imsebenzi uma kungenzeka lokho imsebenzi ngavuka e South Africa conscription the nationalist government mo pasa u standard 10 boshone masojen na manje i challenge babu olomisa go to parliament to say every matriculant must go for conscription pass of funda good values good skills, and how to love their country. That will give time for the government to create more jobs. And we need soldiers. We need proper policing in this country. If you can open a conscription, I'm just giving you a, a manifesto free of charge. Eh? Those are deliverables that are each of, I mean, we can achieve easily. So, let us in the lens of what you want to stand at 10. Yes, we must watch and part of the government. We train, and then another thing. Ekfanege siyenze. 
how to reset this country. I give them free of charge, free of charge, wisdom, because they cannot learn this from the university. This is only from God. How to reset this country? How to umbuzo umkulo How to reset this country? This country, Iran, a constitution more like America, constitutional democracy. I need to check my facts from the scholars. So it's a constitutional democracy. And then umu begi America. In America, that's why by Bizanguti, it's a United States of America. That means there are states, different states in America. So in the upper state, we were saying provinces. If maybe the politician, they don't like the name provinces, just say it's states. And we create what? South African states. And then, what is good with South, the, with this uh, South African state? Each state can decide their own laws. Like for instance, Limpombo does not need Pretoria. Limpombo is rich, it's got chrome, it's got agriculture. They can maintain themselves. They can have their own governor, eh? themselves. And they just pay a little tax maybe to union building. They can put their own laws. KZN, they don't need, uh, what, Pretoria? They don't need Johannesburg. They've got mines, they've got gas, they've got harbors. Eh? Every province, a state, that is delivering, or uh, they, they are getting their goods from down to the, from the harbors, they are paying the KZN states. You go to Eastern Cape, we, we've got the same. You go to Cape Town. I'm telling you, this is how we can reset this country. Under these circumstances, we are not going to be able to reset. That's why there will be a lot of corruption. You will be close. Let me make an example. We've got one billion rand supposedly sitting in union building. But we had floods in KZN. But even one million hasn't been paid to the victim. The people are still staying in the halls after how many months the flood has occurred. But if it was a state of KZN, that one billion could have been paid to the governor in the state of KZN. Simple as that. We are close to the people. You know what the people want, and the people, they will tell you what they want. Not think for the people. I give you this takeaway for you to think about it. It's not an apartheid. It's not an apartheid state. They are lying to us. Why in America we still got United States? You go to different states, they've got different laws. Eh? They are states where they've got a punitive punishment. They've got a hang pal, they still kill you. In other states, no, it's free. They, other states, they, they allow certain rules. In other states, they don't. Why in South Africa? It's because they want to confuse us to hold to power without delivering to us. Let's bring dignity to us. Amanda! My boy, Africa, my boy! Send it clean a guni. Le country ago austerity. Le country in a mali. It pila mo mashonisa. And that they are wasting the future of Bantuana Beto. They are always borrowing. And this thing, Yoba Unonga Use, the state president say Penduga Unonga Use. Uti let us close all the ESCOM fire powered station because there is new, uh, what they call it, independent power producer. Kuti wa kvalo ama esko, mangiti, kufaliz mines ama lahle, mangiti, kote chemen, basa seben zisa ama lahle, kote US basa seben zama lahle, kuti wa kuzo wakiwa izinde, ezo seben zangelang, niti, 
Utatu Cyril Ramaphosa unonga use wange skati seitu. Owati magu chiso ama simu kuzo bako nugu ukia. Uti masivala ma power station kuzo bano mba anezwe. Who's controlling the weather? The, the weather is not controlled by the West. The weather is not controlled by the European. The weather is controlled by God. If God can decide, there must be no wind, there must be no sun. Siso bagu upi. Inga hako nditu siltatu ramaposa unonga use of our century. Comrade, remember, siyakuma wage negotiations. We are not going to compromise. We want the dignity of black mine workers. And then you take for the cars, eh? We call sector. Kukona ba titegi ila basubona si sebenza ne NUM. The only way you shayu mkashi kwa kufane ene si leti NUM close to us. And I must thank Ukomre Daniel, the president of NUM, and Nes Kwebasake. Because mandi tetisana na abo baibo na lendo kuti umanyano singakwazu kuti si mshayu mkashi. No matter they were under severe pressure politically, but they maintained the position. That's why the strike is ever successful. No matter because I managed to bring them closer and we fight it late. Comrade, we need to fight for the unity of the working class. This leadership of NUM currently, we need to go to school, Miss Ananayo, see I born here, I born in Lela, here I born in unity, who is power, here I born to front a man is a mob, here I born a good white monopoly capital is a mob. The only thing we have to take it bit by bit. But yes, comrade, don't be confused. Amco is still Amco, but it was so important for the unity of these two unions in the gold sector. As we men, we are saying to them, comrade, if there is any commonality to fight with the enemy, which is the white monopoly capital, we won't lose anything except the chains of oppression. Amanda! My boy, my boy! My boy, comrade, is in Tambo. Mwaba, besinge zelangi zpishi kpela, kona njumusho ukrina, waba fowe taba sala apenta bene kufane kutuwe nziwe. Uma sekata ona, bazo sikela kuti siya kupi, ende baka lila mapoisa kuti, uma, ninga nyagazi kakulu, bafunu kuti, ama family za wazu puma. Comrade, siya kele mkwa kwe ni ninga ami, ngisese kona mina nyo puma, ekdine ni, nzo wasa nzo kuluma na kutse nya puma, siya kele ake. And goes, Amanda, my boy, Africa, Siabonga, comrade. All right, uh, that's the AMCO president, Joseph Machunja, um, of course, uh, doing uh, the lead uh, speech there um, as the commemorations uh, for Marikana uh, continue there in uh, Rustenburg uh, this afternoon. Very critical of uh, the government. He was uh, in his uh, speech there saying they have no regard for social uh, upliftment of the people and uh, communities, asking uh, uh, what uh, is civil rights without uh, economic uh, rights. Also very critical of uh, the education in South Africa and uh, demanding on the back of that that the 16th of August uh, be declared a public holiday for workers um, and also a demand coming from uh, AMCU, uh, the president uh, of AMCU, saying that uh, they're no longer asking for 12,500. They've moved on from that and are now asking that mine workers receive 20,000 rand instead uh, per month. We're going to take a short break. More news after